Many people, including several of those right here in the Central Valley, took to social media on St. Patrick's Day not to share selfies dressed in green, instead documenting streaks of lights seen across the sky. No, it wasn't leprechauns. Turns out it was burning space debris that entered Earth's orbit. Fox 26 News reporter Sophia Lesios offers an out-of-this-world report tonight. Sophia. Yes, Christina, we even got calls to our station about the bright lights in the sky. Astronomers are calling space junk. I spoke to one of the astronomers who says the flaming pieces created a spectacular light show, and those bits might have landed in Yosemite. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that back one has like flames coming. A spectacular sight to see. Mysterious streaks of light were seen across California Friday night by those out celebrating St. Patrick's Day. No, it wasn't aliens. It was space junk. This particular object was a piece of equipment that actually used to be bolted onto the space station. Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysicist Dr. Jonathan McDowell says the pieces seen on fire in the sky was a Japanese radio antenna from the International Space Station that was retired in 2017. The Japanese Space Agency uh, just shoved it overboard from the space station uh, and just abandoned it in space orbiting the Earth and its orbit slowly decayed, as we say, it got closer and closer to the Earth until, uh, and it was jettisoned in February of 2020, it's taken three years for it to come all the way down and burn up. Stunned spectators had no clue what the bright debris was because there was no warning. Astronomers say they couldn't predict exactly where the object would have entered the Earth because it was moving at 17,000 miles an hour. But Dr. McDowell says there's about 20,000 objects orbiting the Earth right now. So this sort of thing is not uncommon. Things like this re-enter pretty frequently, uh, a few times a month even, but often it's over the ocean. Even though most of the space junk burnt up, there's a good chance very small parts of the metal hit the Earth. So I'm guessing somewhere in the Yosemite area, there might be a few melted, mangled pieces of, of Japanese space equipment uh, littering the ground. Dr. McDowell leaving stargazers with this important note. Now remember the rule next time you see something weird in the sky, it's never aliens. Dr. McDowell says astronomers are now discussing to develop space garbage trucks to collect space jump, junk excuse me, and put larger pieces into the ocean. The only issue is it does cost a lot of money. Christina? Thank you so much, Sophia. You did hear in her report small parts of the space debris might have landed in Yosemite National Park. Dr. McDowell says if you look for it, the pieces might be hard to find because it may just look like regular trash.